Hello. Welcome to another video series on Linux Mint. This is for Linux Mint version 18. Um, I wanted to go through some more things and show you how you can navigate some more through your uh, operating system, your open source operating system, otherwise known as Linux Mint 18. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, as we were talking about before, on the bottom here, you've got your panel. Uh, you can right click on it and you know you can add to the panel or properties and stuff like that we'll go over some more of that later um, as you can see down here at the bottom I already have some programs open I have my sound uh, preferences open for this video so that I can make sure that sound is uh, working at least decent um, I'm using it off of my laptop, so if it's a little bit scratchy or, or messed up, I do apologize. Um, I have my browser up. Um, it's already up, and uh, I have it on my website here. If you want some more videos, just go to my website, which is videotechstuff.com, and then you'll see the tabs up here for videos, web services, downloads, where you can download some software or you can contact me. Um, I'm not always at my phone, so if you do call me and I don't pick up, leave a message or you can text me. So, getting back to the uh, operating system itself, if we go over further, we'll look at a few more things. Uh, as you can see right here, this is my icon for my video recorder. Uh, this is for my updates. We'll go over that in a minute. And then, as you can see, this is for my sound. This also is for my sound. This right here is for my uh, battery. And this over here is for my uh, time and date and my calendar. All right. Yours will look similar to that for your Linux Mint operating system. And then if we come over here to this uh, space right here, this is your wallpaper. You can choose whatever wallpaper you want. You don't have to keep the standard one. And this all right, also right here, along with your wallpaper, this is also considered this empty space. This is considered your, um, your desktop. Or at least that's what I consider. Uh, if if uh, anybody else has anything different to say about it, please go ahead and add it to the comments. Right here, you'll see you have uh, three uh, uh, things here. Um, these pictures, I call them icons. That's what they were traditionally known as in Windows. So I, I just call them, whenever you see a picture on your desktop, I call that an icon. This is a picture of my uh, computer that has all of the devices that are connected to it whether it's a USB or the CD-ROM. This is my home folder. Every Linux um, uh, user has a home folder. This one is mine. And then that's my first video that I did. Uh, hopefully you looked at that one. That was part one. This is part two. Uh, other than that, Let's go ahead and look at um, how we can do an, uh, a normal update on this computer. As you can see, if you go down here to the bottom right, you'll see this button right here. It's a shield with uh, with an uh, an icon, a check in the middle of it, and that's saying right now that my system is up to date, and that's good. When it's not up to date, it'll have uh, either a red X in there or it'll look blue. Okay. But to go ahead and do a manual update, let's go over to our menu button and left click on that. And we'll have this next menu that comes up. And for doing the majority of our um, uh, configurations on this Linux Mint 18, you want to scroll up or go up to where it says Control uh, Center. For those of us uh, who are used to Windows, this is the same thing as the Control the control panel okay you just go ahead and left click on it it'll open up and you'll see this section here alright this is where you can do a majority of the configurations on your uh, on your computer whether it be a laptop or a desktop 
But for today, for today, the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and configure our uh, computer so that we can do an update. All right. Um, now, the first thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that it's grabbing the correct updates. All right. You want to come over here and you want to go to where it says software sources. Left click on software sources. It's going to ask for your password. Go ahead and put that in. Then it should open up here. Now, as I said, this is for Linux Mint 18, and we're dealing with uh, this is uh, the code name for this is Sarah. All right, but if you've got 18, 18.1, 18.2, it doesn't matter. They all basically have the same thing. Okay, they all have basically the same type of interface that you can you can navigate through. Some of them, the newer ones will be different, but you'll figure it out. Now, these are where you can get. These are where uh, Linux Mint 18 gets their main updates from. Uh, you, you get it from the. Um, these are called repositories and mirrors. A, rep a repository for Linux Mint and for Linux Ubuntu and a lot of Linux distributions are uh, basically databases that hold updates and patches as well as a lot of software. Okay? So you just want to make sure this is up to date. Whether or not you choose unstable packages is up to you. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But you want to make sure that at least these two things are in here for your, uh, for your distribution of Linux Mint 18. Usually when you open it up, they're already going to be in there, so you won't have to do that. You just want to make sure that that's in there. Um, enable source code, that's so that, you know, if you want to download some source code, maybe for your kernel or whatever, that should be enabled. Otherwise, once you do all that, this will come up and it'll say, um, it'll say update your cache. You'll want to click on that, left click on that, and then all this will be uh, uh, put in there. Or it'll be updated to, to uh, get the updates from wherever, you, uh, wherever the mirror is for your uh, distribution. And then you just go ahead and close it. Once you've done that, you want to come over here to update or where's update manager. You want to go over to update manager. Oh, there it is right under it. You left click it. All right. And see, it'll come up with all this stuff. You don't have to choose the new kernel. But if you want to choose these current, the new kernel, this one says 4.4. Point zero dash eighty three dot one zero six. This is a newer kernel version. If I wanted to choose them, I would just go ahead and choose the uh, the two boxes, okay? And then you would refresh. Once you hit the refresh, it'll go in and it'll look and see if there are any newer packages or any newer software updates that you need to download. Once it does, it'll come out here. It doesn't. It just has the same two. Once you do that, all you do is hit the install updates, and it'll start uh, uh, installing your update. Now, if there's an update in here or a patch in here that you do not want to update, you can just highlight it, right-click, and choose ignore updates for this package. Then you won't see this package come up anymore. I'm probably going to update it later but uh, I don't need to do that now. Once you do that, it'll, it'll be done. It'll tell you, it'll go ahead and prompt you to go ahead and close once it's completed. Then you just come back, you can go ahead and close out of this. And then you can just come back and down here, like I said, you'll see this little shield with a, um, with a check mark in it. It'll be green and it'll say that your system is up to date. All right. I think that's all for now. Thank you very much. I'm, uh, thank you for looking at my video. Bye-bye.